Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So today I am taking you through, or in this video this week, whatever, I'm taking you through my week of workouts, but I am doing a deload week this week. You can do it a few different ways, but what I am doing, I am going a little bit lower in my weight, so I'm like halving the weight that I normally would lift, and for certain exercises, like some cable ones, I am already doing low weight because I'm doing high reps. So for those, I'm sticking at the same weight, but I am lowering my reps. So kind of doing a mix of like what you would do either way for a deload week. And the whole point of this is to give your body a break. I haven't had a deload week in a very long time, but I haven't needed it, but I definitely feel run down. My body is tired. I'm currently in a cut, so you usually need more deload weeks. So I'm going to give myself a little deload week this week, especially because I just lowered my calories one last time before I reverse out of my cuts. So yeah. I am going to need this little deload week and just a little bit easier of a workout. Um, I'll explain a little bit more of what it is and how to do it for yourself if you need to. But yeah, today is my push day, so that is chest, shoulders, and triceps. So I'll just take you along with me and show you what the workouts I've been doing. This is my sixth week on the split, so I'm doing the same exact workout that I've been doing for my deload week, but I'm just gonna lower the weights and some reps, so yeah. And this is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing this like top. It's from the new like American Eagle Airy offline athletic store. Has a bunch of like crisscross on the back. And then I'm wearing these leggings. I think they're just from TJ Maxx, honestly. So the first move I did today was a dumbbell chest press. So normally I do four sets of eight, eight, and then I go down to six and six. And I usually do that at 30 pounds and then 35 pounds. But for the deload, I dropped down the weight to 15 and 20 pounds. So I did the 15s with the two sets of eight and then the 20 for the two sets of six. Then I went into a dumbbell incline press so normally I use 25 pounds for this if I'm doing eight reps so I do four sets of eight but today I did four sets of eight with 12 pounds and 15 pounds and next I did barbell overhead press so normally I do three sets and I drop the reps and up the weight as I go through each set but today I just did three sets of four at 45 pounds since I've been kind of weak with this move so I couldn't really like drop the weight too much with this one. Then I moved on to my cable chest fly. So normally I do two sets of 10 with 20 pounds, but today I did two sets of eight with 10 pounds. So for this one, I dropped the reps a little bit because sometimes for the two sets of 10, normally I'll do 10 pounds and 20 pounds sometimes. It just depends on the day. So I figured I would drop the reps a little bit since sometimes I do use the same amount of weight. Then I moved into the single arm tricep pull down. So normally I'll do two sets of 15 at 10 and 20 pounds because I'll start out with 20 and then drop down to 10 when I can't finish the amount of reps. So today I just stuck with the 10 pounds and cut the reps about in half for eight reps. Then we have the seated machine rear delt fly. So normally I'll do two sets of 12 with 40 pounds, but today I did two sets of 12 with 25 pounds. And while I'm doing the deload, I'm really trying to focus on my form for each of these moves since it is lighter and I slow the tempo down just a little bit because I want the workouts to feel still challenging and still feel like effective. Then I end with tricep dips and I normally do as many reps as possible. So today I just cut it down to eight reps, which is about half of what I normally do. And I just use the same amount of assistance with the weight. Day two of the deload today. Today is a leg day. There's definitely a lot of quads in today's leg day, but still some glutes. So 
yeah we are gonna go do that right now i already planned out like how much lighter i'm going to lift and so yeah i'll explain it all right now so the first move i have is a deadlift so normally i'll do four sets of four at 185 pounds roughly and then today i just lowered the weight since i'm already at a very low rep range so today i just stuck with 95 pounds for all four sets Next, moving into front squats, I just added these into the split. I was originally doing goblet squats, but I like the feel and mind-muscle connection better of the front squat. So the highest I have done with the front squat is 85 pounds since I just started working on them. So I just dropped it down to only using the bar for my deload and stuck with the same amount of sets and reps. Then I moved into single leg extension, so normally I'll do 3 sets of 10 at 25 or 30 pounds, but today I did 3 sets of 10 at 15 pounds. And even though I lightened the weight, I was still feeling this like kind of a lot. Next I moved on to sumo squats, so normally I'll do 3 sets of 12 to 15 rep range at 70 pounds, but today I just cut it in half to 35 pounds. Next, I moved on to abductors. So normally I'll do three sets of 20 at 55 pounds, but today I cut it into 25 pounds, still three sets of 20. And I normally do these at 55, which is still pretty light because I am doing 20 reps. It is Wednesday today, so I am going to go do my workout right now. Today is back and bicep, so a nice little upper body pull day. My legs are sore from yesterday's workout, <laughs> like my quads, and that's how you know I needed a deload day because even still deloading with lighter weight, my legs are still sore. So yeah, I'm glad I'm doing this deload week and I feel like I'm still getting effective workouts in. As long as you're focusing on your tempo and your form, like deload weeks are great and they're so beneficial for the rest and recovery as well so definitely do not skip out on your deload weeks but anyways i'm gonna head to the gym right now and do my back and buys so i started out with bent over rows so normally i'll just do 75 pounds because i am at 10 reps but today i just did the bar at 45 pounds then I move into chin-ups, so these are assisted chin-ups, so normally I'll just use 40 pounds or 30 pounds to assist me, but today I use 80 pounds and just focused on going really slowly. Then I moved into lat pull-down, so normally I'll do 3 sets of 8 to 10 at 75 pounds, but today I only used 40 pounds. Again, I was just focusing on that slow tempo. Then I moved into barbell bicep curls, so normally I'll do 3 sets of 8 to 10 at 20 pounds added total, so I'll have two 10s on the side, but today I just added two 5s on the side, so it's 10 pounds total. Then I moved into dumbbell single arm rows, so normally I'll have 45 pounds, but today I only used a 20, and again, focusing on that tempo, I was kind of doing a slight pause at the top just to really feel that mind-muscle connection. Then lastly, I have dumbbell hammer curls, so normally I'll do 3 sets of 12 to 15, and I'll use 15s and 10s, and then today I just use 5 pound weights. So with this rep range, I did go to the 15 reps for all three sets because I was at five pounds. So I really just needed to do those few extra reps to really start to feel something in my bicep. So before we get into Thursday's workout, I just wanted to explain a little bit more in detail of how to do a deload week so you can do one yourself and you can understand why I'm doing it. So a deload week is when you lower the intensity of your workouts. And you do this because if you've been working out at like say a high intensity or just like strength training in general for a long period of time, your body can get kind of worn out, especially if you're in a caloric deficit, which I am. So my body is a little bit weaker than normal just because my food intake is a little bit less than what I'm used to. 
and I'm burning more calories than I'm actually intaking and eating. So I could feel that I needed a deload week specifically because of the caloric deficit. Normally, if I'm like in a bulk, I don't really feel like I need a deload week too much. It really isn't as noticeable, but I really felt like I needed one. My body was tired. I was feeling weak in the gym. So this kind of is like a little reset and instead of taking a whole week off from the gym i didn't want to do that so instead i am doing the same workout split that i am normally doing the same workouts just at a lighter load or a lighter intensity so there are like two main ways that you can do a deload which i have been doing you either lift 50 to 60 percent lighter so do all the same sets and reps that you normally do of each move, just 50 to 60% lighter. Or the other way is to do lower the volume 50 to 60%. So volume is the sets and reps. So I've been adjusting the reps and cutting those in half for some of the moves that I'm already at a light weight. So say like if I was in a bulk, I'd probably be able to lift a little bit more than I am right now. So I'd probably focus on cutting the weight in half more than doing the reps. But if you are at a high volume training split, you could do definitely focus on the reps to cut down. I hope that you understand what I mean by that. But I think it is pretty straightforward. You can either cut down the reps or cut down the weight that you are lifting. And how often should you do a deload week? It kind of depends. So like me, if you're in a cut, you may need to do it a little bit more often, depending on how long you are in a cut for. Roughly, I've been doing every 10 weeks, like throughout my whole lifting like experience. I've only been lifting for just over a year now. So I've been doing every 10 weeks a deload, but some people may need it a little bit sooner than that. Some people may not feel like they need it. It really just depends on the individual and their calorie intake and what type of workouts they are doing and how hard they are actually pushing themselves in the gym. But yeah, I hope this made sense and let's get into Thursday's workout. Then I moved into squats. Normally I'll do four sets of four at 135. But today I did four sets of four and I did 45 pounds, then I did 65 pounds, and then I went up to 95 pounds for two sets, which is a little bit more than what you're supposed to do for a deload, but the 65 was just not cutting it and the 95 was feeling pretty light, so I just went with it. Then I did a barbell RDL, so normally I'll go up to 155, but today I just stuck with 65 pounds, was going super slow, really trying to dig my heels into the ground to feel a connection in my glutes. Then I moved in to cast glute bridges, so these are just kind of like the upper half of a hip thrust, so it's kind of like hip thrust pulses. And normally I'll do this with a barbell and it'll be 225 pounds that I do total. But today I just did a dumbbell and I did 50 pound dumbbell because when I do this with dumbbells, I'll only use 100 pounds. So I just cut it in half from what I would do with a dumbbell. Then I moved into hamstring curls for three sets of 12. Normally I'll do 75 or 80 pounds sometimes, but today I just stuck with 40 pounds. And not gonna lie, I wasn't really feeling these at all, but I just stuck with the weight that I was supposed to do for the deload, but I was not feeling it. <laughs> then I moved into glute hyperextension, so normally I'll do two sets of 20 for 25 pounds, but today I just did it at 10 pounds. And now we're going straight into Friday's workout. It's a back and shoulders day. So I started out with pendule rows and I kept the weight the same and just cut the reps in half. Then I moved into seated overhead press. I cut the weight in half this time, a little bit more than half. And I just kept the reps the same, but normally I'll have 30 pounds total added to the bar, but today I just had 10 pounds added. Then I moved into straight arm lat pullovers, so normally I'll do 50 pounds for 3 sets of 10, so I didn't really want to lower the weight too much for this, so I just did 3 sets of 5. 
Then I moved into close grip seated rows. So I normally do 110 pounds. So today I just did 50 pounds for three sets of 10. Then I moved into dumbbell shoulder press. So normally I'll do 20 or 25 pounds, just depending on what set I am on. But today I just stuck with 10 pounds the entire time. Then I moved into back extensions. So these are a little bit different than hyper extensions for your glutes because you're keeping your back and shoulders straight and using your low back to raise you. So normally I'll do 25 pounds, but today I just stuck with 10 and did the same two sets of eight reps. And now we have a super set of lateral raises and front raises. So for the lateral raises, I do two sets of 12. And so I normally do these at 15 and 12 pounds, but today I just stuck with five pounds. And then for front raises, I normally do two sets of 10 at 10 pounds. So today I did two sets of 10 for five pounds. And then I have face pulls, so normally I'll do 80 pounds for two sets of 12, but today I cut it in half for 40 pounds, still doing the two sets of 12. Hey guys, I forgot to record yesterday and I just did my workout today. So yesterday was like, alright, I wasn't feeling going light with the deload, but I'm sticking to it. Got a power through, so yesterday's workout was pretty easy, like really easy and i kind of hated it but i know it's all worth it and my body will thank me in the end but yeah today was pretty good even though i was going light um i still was able to feel it a lot for a lot of the shoulder movements so yeah and today i had to switch it up with going light like lighter weights versus lighter reps like kind of off and on throughout the whole workout so yeah, but I explained that all, but yeah, that was interesting trying to like switch up that way. And yeah, end of deload week though, and I'm super excited to start lifting normal weights again. But I I know I needed it, so yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful and insightful into my little training split here. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.